Resident Evil. Unicorn door time. Unicorn door time. I love me some unicorn. Oh! Some unicorn door. I also love me some zombies. Okay. So that's why they said to, uh. Save the assault rifle for the zombies. It's kind of actually terrible. Alright, so. No way we're getting past here right now. Well, at least we've got a fire extinguisher. Um, it's empty. I'm sure we could beat the flames into submission, maybe. I've never tried it, but I'm sure it'll work. Did I say already? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with Neo X Fu. And this time we found an eagle plate had dropped into the uh, sewers below. So, even though I wanted to kind of stay out of the basement as long as I could last episode, it's not going to happen. I can't get past that fire right now and... Seems like the only other way to go is down. But I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna cave just yet. Not all the way. I'm going down the first floor first. Let's see what surprises await us here. I bet it is totally exactly the same as it... Zombies. Totally exactly... Oh my god! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that much to you. I just meant to just kill you. I didn't want to blow you up. Nobody deserves that. Not even a... Well, some people deserve that. Wesker, Alfred, I'm thinking of you. But a zombie? No, that's overkill for him. Ooh, wait a minute. There were things that we couldn't get with Claire in this room, weren't there? Maybe. Maybe. This is a big maybe. Maybe we can get them with... With, uh, Steve. Chris. Leon. I can remember the names of people. <laughs> oh, December 8th. Okay. So... Does it dissolve at 128 degrees, 8 degrees, negative 8 degrees, or negative 128 degrees? Guess we'll just have to find out. I'm gonna guess it's just... I'm gonna guess it's either 8 degrees or negative 128. All right, let's go break a fan. It's gotta happen. Oh no, wait a minute. We're gonna actually see the lizard men. Because, uh, yeah, this goes right over the river and I was freaking out the first time we were here because I'm like, the lizard men are gonna show up, aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? <laughs> so I bet they're gonna show up this time. Ready? Or something down there. I don't think I could uh, go down these stairs before, could I? Well, let's do it this time. What's this? No. I know better than to take shotguns off of strange looking wall contraptions like that. Last time I tried to do that, I almost got crushed to death. And then I think a door shut on me. And other bad things. Bad things tend to happen with contraptions like that. I'm gonna... Accidentally go through a door first. Oh. I'm guessing it's cold in here because it's blue. So I'm guessing 
this is where we need to bring the, the, the crest in order to get the Sigma chemical out of it or whatever. I don't really understand what that uh, file was telling me. Keep moving, Chris. Don't slow down. That's how you die in situations like these. I would know. I I'm dead. Okay, I don't know. It's just a common trope. Uh, no, I'm just a little bit. Did that move? Oh no, that's something flashing on the top. What is that? Honestly, I can't tell what's on top of that. Ooh, this room has given me the willies because I want to know what's in these. No. <laughs> you guys are probably, every time I go to a switch you're, you're, and I say no, you're probably like, come on, just say yes. It's not like the outcome's going to be that bad. I'm just like, no, I want to explore first. I, I want to explore and not touch anything. Were I a kid, I'd just be like, ooh, push all the buttons. Turn all the knobs. Get out of my laboratory, Dee Dee. But no, now it's just... <laughs> now I'm a stick in the mud. And I just want to explore a little first. See what's actually... Figure it out. As though it's a system of some kind. Which is broken. Ooh, there's a door there, but I see a shiny first that I want to pick up. I want to pick it up. What is it? It's a doorknob. Um. Okay, we got a doorknob. <laughs> that, um. We got boxes we can stand on. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with the doorknob yet, but I'm going to leave it there, because I don't have a box I can put it in. Oh yeah, this is... Uh, is this where, uh... Not the Triffids, what are they called? The little uh, salamander doodads. No, you've never been in this room before. What is this? What are, what are, the, what are those on the wall? Are those supposed to be like speakers or something, or...? Oh, maybe, maybe decontamination? Oh, hello. What's going on here? Oh, wait, those shotgun shells? Yeah, those are shotgun shells. Do we have those on our person? No. And then I don't want to take them yet because they'll use up valuable real estate. Oh, what is this? Ah, yes, chemical storage key. Sure, why not? We'll just leave this open. Uh, yeah. We're gonna set it to... 128. Yeah. And one of them should react. The, the one in the middle that was kind of shining already. Come on, Chris. Can't you tell? <laughs> Alright, so that's the Clement Sigma. One of the chemicals we need to, uh... Dissolve the, the, hal the halberd on, um... The seal. Let's look at the shotgun shell since we're here. I'm waiting for something to burst out of that air duct. Because something already obviously did. No, we're going to get out easily enough. Okay. When's the next... When are we gonna see her next? Uh, 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 so, uh, I'm waiting for something to pop out. It's been too long. Is 
Should I press it? I need to drop off stuff. <sighs> I'm carrying too much stuff. No, I'm not going to press it because I don't have room for whatever it is if that's what gets me up to the top of this capsule. I have got to find a place where I can drop off some stuff. Okay. Don't think there's anywhere up through here that we can go. That leads... That leads to the, uh, toxic ventilation room. I think we're gonna have to go all the way back to the, uh... To the first one. Unless I want to fight some, uh, some spiders. Which I'm not totally keen to do right now. Because there's no reason to. So yeah, I'm gonna backtrack all that way. <laughs> It's not like it's that much further, actually, but... Hmm. It's a bit annoying. Watch, there's probably one I'm missing that's right around the corner somewhere. And I'm just making things harder for me, and for you. I might be wrong, because there's not enough evidence either way to prove what I think I'm seeing. What I think I'm seeing is that it looks like Capcom reused some of the animations for uh, Claire with Chris. It's just the way that Chris is moving while he's walking, swinging his arms. It's, it's very, very similar to Claire's Gate. A little runway-esque, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> very determined to, uh... Very sure of the step that it's taking. Ooh, do I want to save? Probably. Probably not a bad idea. Actually, I'm gonna drop off the assault rifle. I'm gonna grab the other shotgun shells. I am gonna save. And then I'm gonna go grab that shotgun. Yeah. That's a good plan, I think, actually. A better one than I've had yet, otherwise. Alright, so I'm going to go get that shotgun, and that is probably going to be the end of this episode. I'm going to guess that the shotgun takes up two spaces as well. Anyhow, let's make our way back, shall we? Don't worry, you won't be forgotten, uh... Shoot. I know I could just look in my files. That somehow Chris got his hands on? Hmm. <laughs> Must have been included as an attachment to that email. For that, in that email to Leon or something. Um. <laughs> I know I could just look in my files and get the guy's name easy. Easy peasy. But. I'm lazy. <laughs> What can I say? Despite having... Despite doing this after a full day's work at like 1 in the morning, I'm lazy. Other than that. <laughs> Alright,
right, let's go get that shotgun. I'm sure of it. Something terrible's gonna happen, but you know what? That's why I saved. So I can take risks. Make, make mistakes. Get messy. All without batting an eye. Yeah. I feel good about this plan of action. And then after that, we're gonna go into the room with the toxic ventilation. And... Screw shit up there too. Yeah. I'm just gonna take the shotgun, aim it down at the ground, and just let it go. And it's a one... Aha! That's what it is. Okay. But that actually gives us access to the river now. Interesting. Alright, so we're not gonna go screw shit up in the... in the toxic ventilation room. We can't go up there yet. Well, we can't go up there now. Instead, we're gonna screw shit up in this room. I'm gonna go press that button. Yeah, look at the confidence which... which Chris has now. Now that we've decided on a plan of action. Yes, I'm gonna push that switch. I'm gonna push the hell out of that switch. And I'm gonna see what the hell this thing even is. It's a no. It's the assault rifle bullets. Okay, so once we hit 50%, we can, uh, refill it 50%. I thought there was a cutscene starting in a, for a second. Alright. Oh, yeah. Get out of here, you son of a bitch. Okay, don't get out of here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I want to fight an enemy again now. It's been a rock snake and like two zombies. This is only a, no four zombies. Okay, a little bit. two more. All right, what do we have down here besides is that blood? No, those are oh, those are red herbs. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a lizard man for a second. It's just a zombie. <sighs> Had me all worried for nothing. Man, red herbs! We haven't seen those in forever. Whoa, okay, this guy is... This guy is something else. He won't be stopped at all. He was just coming right at me. Bullets in his skull and... Well, not skull. An unidentified monster came out through this. What? How would you know, Chris? We haven't seen anything of the kind. Yeah, we'll climb the ladder. Climb the ladder, goddammit. Oh, we're back up here. Back with our old friends. Who I'm just gonna... Oh. Well, I was gonna just, uh, ignore them. Guess not. <laughs> Alright, so we got red herbs, red herbs right here, but... Oh, okay, I do have room. It's been a while since we've seen these, though. That's... Yeah, there we go. I wonder if people still complain about how I do the herbs. I learned to combine them at least. But I'm still gonna just combine two herbs at once, because if I combine three, it seems to be a waste and people will get mad at me for it. Yeah, we're gonna hang them. I can't get back down right now. Can't think of a way to get down here. So we're gonna go wreck shit up in the ventilation room, because I'm angry, and I'm on a mission to trash this place as much as I can, because it wasn't nice to my sister.
Okay. I'm gonna guess that as long as we stay up here, we'll be fine. But once we go down into that, that our toxic gas, it's not gonna be so fine. Um. Yeah, I can tell. So I know at least where there is a bay of those antidote. wait for all these guys to come up at me. Oh, that's the only way I can think of take think to uh, take care of them without risking myself. At least not without risking myself too much. There we go. Is that it? One more. I think. These guys aren't like the guy that was in the, uh, in the sewers. He was absolutely adamant to get me. These guys are just like, oh, yeah, maybe. Alright, that's it, I think. Right. Oh, <laughs> he's not even, he can't even, oh, jeez. So how do we... Huh. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of stumped. I can't think of a way to get past there. Seems like all the exits we used before are blocked. Um, hmm. Everywhere else leads us around in a uh, circle. You know what? I'm going to call the episode there. Think on this for a bit. Try to think up a solution. Because right now I am absolutely stumped how to proceed. Because I thought I'd just be able to, like, plunge into the toxic mess and fix it, figure it out later, like a real hero. But no. Chris is like, it's too toxic. So I'm going to see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with me, Alex Fu. Alright, see you guys next time. Take care.